reason why we can't man up, the reason why we ain't growing, is because we putting the wrong stuff inside of us. But then why do we sit up in here and we call ourselves believers? You thought we was going to stop. This is your boy, Mr. Casey, with Brother Al in that never in the mix tape. Reverb Nation, let's get it. music like that huh that's all right that's what they got me for you know what i'm saying you ain't gonna find it nowhere else i'm gonna do it brother i'll let your service you know what i'm saying we're gonna tell the truth and stay safe on this side ain't that right that's right we're gonna provide things honest in the sight of all men too ain't we come on now let's go so i'm uh back before you again as my reasonable service as a leader servant right that's the term leader servant servant leader right um let's pray the heavenly father lord god as i come before you lord god i ask that you open the hearts and the minds dear father god lord god in this last and evil day dear father god the deception is so thick lord god the deception is so thick please help you people In jesus name amen so i want to i want to uh deal with a uh it's the topic of forbearance or being having the ability to forbear and right now the ignorance <laughs> the ignorance and the 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 spiritual ignorance is at an all-time high and then not only spiritual ignorance being at an all-time high uh people just they I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not, it's just the end times. It's the best way I can explain it. I don't think it need nothing else. I mean, if you out here in the field, you'll, you you see. If you're not, you may not understand. Can I get an amen? You know what I'm so let's go to Romans chapter 14. Okay, and we're going to go to verse 1. And we'll read through 3. Uh, Him that is weak in the faith receive ye, right? But not to doubtful disputations, for one believeth that he may eat all things. Another who is weak eateth herbs, right? Let him not, let not him that eateth despise him that eat not, and let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth, for God hath received him, okay? So understand this, him that is weak in the faith receive ye. You re, like receive them, right? Folks out here weak in the faith. The, the deception, God don't have to shorten the days because they're not weak in the faith. This is how they this is how so many are deceived at the end. They weak in the faith. Receive them, but they uh, well, the Bible tells us to receive them, right? But they are only weak because they lack faith. So don't carry on a spiritual or natural arguments when he or she is weak in God's word. Well, you say, well, they willfully weak in God's word, but yet are argumentative. I get it. But you know they weak in the faith. 
Don't carry on spiritual and natural arguments uh, when, when somebody is weak in God's word. You want to have a true debate, go talk to somebody who read. You know what I'm saying? You want to, you know what I'm saying? Like they gonna people who are weak in the faith always got an opinion too. Like it ain't like it ain't like they weak in the faith and they shut up because they don't know much. No, they weak in the faith and they run their mouth a lot. As if they know. For one believeth he may eat all things. Another who is weak eateth herbs, right? Um, let not him that either despise him that eateth not. And let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth. For God hath received him. Just because we have faith concerning things and our faith provide us liberty and freedom, let's not look at our brothers who lack faith as heathens. It's easy to do. I've been guilty of it. That's why I can, that's why I can teach this thing. Because it's so easy to do. Um, let's not look at them as heathens, right? Or unbelievers. Also, my brother who um, whose conviction it is not to operate, right? Right? He operates, you know, who, his conviction is not to operate in the way he operates as wrongdoing to you, you know. How should I put this? I want to get it right. So y'all bear with me. My brother whose conviction... It is not to operate in the way he operates as wrongdoing to you, right? It do look, I mean, you look at him like a sinner, right? Don't you know we must respect the boundaries of our salvation, right? According to the measure of faith, right, given to us. It's as simple as that, right? That should be growing, like that measure of faith. You should be nurturing it, right? God, the, the scripture give us all a measure. Just that, uh, boom, church. And uh, and uh, uh, my brother was, uh, Eric, uh, uh, Minister Eric was just talking about that. The measure of faith. What are you doing to water it, right? So the faith should be growing. <clears throat> but I can't force my boundaries to be this brother's boundaries i must respect the level and let the holy ghost do his part whole traditions of men have been set by boundaries and convictions of a few without the word of god forbear we got brothers on both sides folks out here weak in the faith okay and we 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 must forbear with one another um, according, you know, to our faith. And that's just, that's just out of uh, respect because we are, um, servants of the most high. We not are, we not in, you know, we serve each other, which is the, ser our reasonable service in the body, right? To make sure that this hand can reach things this hand can't reach. But we're all, some of us are weak in the faith. So let's forbear with those who are weak in the faith and let's not argue, have spiritual and natural arguments uh, or deep seated debates with those who are weak in the faith and they lack the understanding of the scriptures fully in their entirety. Some people have only one way of understanding the scriptures because they are not analytical in thought. Does that mean they're weak in the faith? No, it just means that they don't respect you enough in the body to take your side but if somebody one day somebody that they respect then it shouldn't be a respected person like that but if somebody one day they, they could probably take it better from somebody they admonish but if you forbear with them and not have these conversations there's a great chance god may open up a window um because everybody's not an intellectual in christ people are not intellectuals regularly people are not finding i find it fun i find information fun right so i find information of the scriptures to be fun some people hear one scripture and be taught it one way, but because they're not scripturally intellectual or, or say, okay, well, this is all I need. Well, they weaken the faith, right? They, they're they not growing, you know, it's just called the living word for a reason, right? Um, but I don't want to cross over into the next one. I'm getting ready to drop another video right behind this one. So come back for me. Um, 
I mean, literally right behind us. I, I dare, I, I don't think I do double features uh, and release them the same time. So this is a treat. Keep in mind there are boundaries, um, and let's make sure in this time, in this time, in this last day, we're not having um, spiritual and natural uh, arguments with those who are weak in the faith. Um, they're not our servants, and um, we go to you know we grow to where we grow. Brother Al, at your service, man. I ain't got nothing else for you. Tune in to the next video. We're going to go right into it. Let's go. I know you didn't think we were going to stop. This is your boy, Medicine Casey, with my boy, Brother Al, that never in the mix tape. Let's get it.